So fly fishing for pike is getting really popular these days, but it's a very, very different beast to your regular trout fishing. So we're on quite a flooded, cold Somerset level today, challenging conditions, but we're gonna have a good explore and hopefully show you a few little ways you can put a few more fish on the bank. Not to mention, even more importantly, make sure every pike you catch goes back unharmed in great condition. Before we get started with some fishing, I'm going to run you through just a little bit of the tackle and the basics because this stuff is really, really important for pike. So we've got a nine weight rod and reel here, floating line, and we wouldn't really want to go much lighter than that because it's really important that we don't play these pike to exhaustion and we get them in quickly. So we've got 30 pound fluorocarbon as our leader and a wire trace which should be a minimum of 20 pounds. I can't emphasize that enough how important it is to get all of these fish in safely. Once you get going with your fishing, you may well like to tie your own flies and traces, but the great news today for people who don't want to do that is you've got a lot of great flies and equipment ready to go. Last but not least, just as important as flies and traces, we've got gear that will handle a decent fish really safely. So we've got a generous sized landing net that will easily handle a good fish, large padded mat, obviously going to make sure a fish doesn't get scratched or damaged on the bank and also these days I really like to have one of these line trays which are inexpensive now and that just means you can move spots and fish without your fly line getting tangled up in all the rubbish on the bank. been really cold so I'm tempted to slow it down a bit and just tease it in but mix it up until you find the fish is always always the way to do it and what I want to show you here is just how quick and easy it should be you don't need to kick fish out for ages Everyone wants Instagram and Facebook feeds these days. It's really not necessary. Um, you know, you, you can take a picture of a fish and return it really, really quickly. So that's what we're gonna do. We might even show you a little stopwatch here just to show you it can be really simple if you're prepared. No messing around here. Just gonna get straight under the, that's, you've got your grip under the gill there. This one's gonna be nice and easy. He's a little bit lively, but this one, the fly will just pick out like that. Fish is already out. Got a nice damp mat net here. Oh, what a picture now. I've already got my camera set up. It's not really, you know, not a record breaker, but I can quite easily quick snap with the camera. There's my picture. And right away, no need to mess around with this fish anymore. Straight back in the water. So one of the absolute cardinal rules of this pike fishing is just search everything and stay as mobile as you can because these fish are not going to come to you and you really have got to get stuck in. So It's also a truth that a lot of anglers will only fish the bits that are accessible or easy to walk to. So going the extra mile always brings its own rewards. You know, the more you seek, the more you're going to find. This is very much the last throw of the dice for us today. It's been a tough one and it's not unusual really to move venues a few times a day. So third time lucky, hopefully. The river is still running a little bit high to be honest with you, but the clarity is actually not too bad and it seems to be dropping. So there's always a chance anyway if the fly's in the water. Well, as you can see, the light's just going. and We've really had to hang on today to get that extra final take. And it's the nicest fish of the day, typical levels fish. With a nice one of about five pounds, very scrappy. 
lovely fight actually in that water. I'm really pleased with that. It's always nice to end the day on a high anyway. As you can see the banks are really treacherous. We want to get them back as quickly as possible. But you can see the value here of having a long handled net. It's really treacherous in the wind so once the floods have made the bank slippery. So not the most elegant of releases but the, the net is really useful because obviously we want to get him back safely, he's going, look. 